Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the movies that I watched for the 25 days of Christmas, so stick around. So for the month of December, I have been watching 25 days worth of holiday movies. So each day I would go to an Instagram page and um, there would be an advent calendar and each day that they would pull a title of a movie to watch. And so this is the guide that I use to figure out which movies I would watch each day. If I didn't have the movie in the collection, then I was able to select another holiday movie. And so I thought today would be a good day for me to tell you what all I watched each day. So for the first day of December, I watched Elf. Now this right here is a great film, very fun to watch. Will Ferrell has a great performance. It's a good story, um, a nice holiday story. So if you've never seen Elf, definitely check that one out. Now for the second day, I didn't have the movie that was selected, so I was able to select my own, and so I, cho um, so I chose um, The Christmas Chronicles. I believe this is a Netflix film, and I needed to find something that I could stream because I wasn't really sure what was going to be pulled for the other 24 days during the month. So I had to be real careful of what I selected. So I did select The Christmas Chronicles. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun movie. I definitely need to check out the second one um, that came out this year. Okay, for the third day, I watched Ted. Um, Ted is not really a holiday movie. Christmas is at the very beginning of the movie when he actually gets Ted as a kid. So that's the Christmas part, but otherwise it's just a regular comedy. I do enjoy watching Ted. I did see this one in the theater when it was released, so it was nice revisiting this film. Okay, on the fourth day, I watched Die Hard. So of course, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It had been many, many years since I've seen Die Hard, so it was nice to revisit this. I enjoyed watching it in 4K. It looked and sounded great. So very happy to have this one and very happy to have been able to watch this one again. Just a great overall movie. Okay, for the fifth day, I watched Jingle All the Way. Now, it had been a very long time since I've seen this one. Um, it's a fun movie. It's not the best movie in the world, but it is a fun holiday movie. Um, I thought that the um, story was really good. Um, the acting, probably not as good, but still a fun one to watch. Okay, on the sixth day, I watched a movie called Love Actually. So I never actually saw this movie up until this time. So a good thing about having these movies pulled from the advent calendar is I did have the opportunity to watch a lot of movies that I've never seen before. And so this was the first time watching this one. I, I did enjoy it. Uh, I can see why people would watch this around the holidays. It is a holiday themed movie. It's got several stories intertwined together. So if you've never seen Love Actually, this would be a good time for you to, to um, check it out. Okay, on the seventh day, I watched Gremlins. Um, I always enjoy Gremlins. I did see Gremlins back in the theater when it was released. Um, and only a few times since then. I think I watched it on VHS. I had it on DVD. Then I had it on Blu-ray. And now, of course, I have it on 4K. But I really do enjoy the story of Gremlins. Fun story. Really um, kind of like a horror type. It's almost like a horror type movie. Um, but it's really fun. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the scenery. I, um, all the Christmas lights. All the different things that happened during the movie. I'm um, just a fun one to watch. So definitely check out Gremlins if you've never seen it. Okay, on the eighth day, I watched the first Lethal Weapon movie. It had been a long time since I've seen Lethal Weapon. Um, really good action film with Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. And it does take place during the Christmas season. So Lethal Weapon was day eight. Okay, day nine, I watched Bridget Jones's Diary. So I had never seen this one before either. I did have it in the collection, so I was able to open it up and watch it. I um, wasn't really familiar with this story. I know a lot of people talk about this movie or had talked about it in the past, um, but I did enjoy it. Me and my wife was able to watch this one, and it was a good story. And even after we watched this, when we watched the two follow-up movies that were done, um, so it was a pretty much a Bridget Jones marathon throughout the next few days. I watched the remake for The Miracle on 34th Street. I had only seen this once um, back when it first came out. I saw it in the theater when it was released. Um, I do remember enjoying the original and I also remember fondly um, enjoying this one. So it was nice to revisit Miracle on 34th Street. 
Okay, next up I watched Edward Scissorhands. Now this is another one that I haven't seen in many, many years. I do remember seeing this one in the theater when it came out and probably just a few times since then. So it's nice to revisit this one. It's got a really good score and it just looks really, really good. A very good movie to watch at Christmas time. Okay, next up I watched Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. So I really enjoyed this film. I think this is probably one of the better um, sequels that was ever made, especially for a holiday movie. You don't very, you don't see very many holiday movies getting a sequel, but they did such a great job with this one. It was a fun watch. Really enjoyed it. So Home Alone 2. Okay, next up I watched, for the first time, I watched Santa Claus the movie. I had never seen this one before. Um, I've had it in the collection for a while and finally decided to check it out. And it definitely does show its age. I know a lot of people are fond of this movie. Um, it was kind of kind of slow for me. Um, not as festive as I thought it would be. But it was still nice to watch it. And I definitely am happy to have this one in the collection. Let me know what you think about Santa Claus the movie. Okay, next up I watched The Muppet Christmas, um, the Muppet Christmas Carol. Um, this right here I hadn't seen in many years. I actually don't think I've ever seen this movie all the way through, so it was nice to actually take time to watch this. I do enjoy The Muppets, and I thought this was a really great um, telling of the Charles Dickens story. Okay, next up I watched The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Of course, this is a classic Disney film. I really enjoyed watching The Santa Claus. It had been many, many years since I'd seen this one, so it was nice to revisit The Santa Claus. Of course, for the follow-up, I did watch The Santa Claus 2. Great sequel. Um, I know that there's three Santa Claus movies, so I think as a follow-up for the original, I thought this right was a good follow-up. I did enjoy watching this one. Okay, next up, I watched another movie that I streamed. Um, and it was While You Were Sleeping. This was another one that was pulled from the advent calendar. I didn't have it in the collection. Um, I hadn't seen While You Were Sleeping in many, many years. I did see it in the theater back when it was released, so it was nice to revisit that. I do enjoy Sandra Bullock, and I um, was very happy to watch that movie again. Okay, next up, I streamed another movie um, called Just Friends, starring Ryan Reynolds. I had never seen it before. Really glad that someone had suggested that I check it out. It was a fun movie. Um, lots of laughs. If you've never seen Just Friends, definitely check it out. Okay, next up I watched Serendipity. This is another film that I had never seen before. Um, this is another one that I did not have in the collection, but very happy that I was able to stream it and watch it. I had never seen it before. I really enjoyed it. It was a good holiday movie, a romantic comedy type film, and so Serendipity was the next watch. Okay, next up I watched Scrooge. Now Scrooge is another one that I saw when it was released in the theater and have only seen it just a couple of times since then. So it was nice to revisit this one. So um, if you've never seen Scrooge before, I would highly recommend you check it out. And then after that, I watched Four Christmases. Now Four, Four Christmases is another one that I did not have in the collection, so I had to stream it. Um, really good Vince Vaughn movie. And it had somebody else in it. Who was that? Um, Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon. Um, that's the bad thing about watching all these movies during the month is that there's so many movies that sometimes it's hard for me to remember who's in which because they all kind of combine together. But anyways, I enjoyed Four Christmases. I do always enjoy Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn, so it was good to see them together in this film. So definitely check out Four Christmases. Okay, next up I watched um, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. Um, I, had, I actually saw this one in the theater also back when it was released, and I only saw it once since then. So it was nice to revisit this one. Um, it was a fun movie. I'm not the biggest Jim Carrey fan um, with his over-the-top performances. I know a lot of people like Jim Carrey. Don't have anything against him, but I really didn't like... I didn't really like this movie as much as I thought I would, um, especially ha haven't seen it in so long. It kind of didn't hold up for me, but it is a very good holiday movie, probably for kids. Um, but it is a good telling of the Dr. Seuss story um, for How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I definitely prefer the animated movie. Um, okay, next up, I saw a movie for the first time called Last Christmas. So I really enjoyed this one. This is another one that I had never seen before but had it in the collection so um, it was nice to be able to open this up and watch it really good story 
Um, a very good surprise. The music was great, and I just thought it was a really fun Christmas story. So definitely check out Last Christmas if you have not seen it. I haven't really heard many people talk about this movie, so um, if you have never seen this one, I would highly suggest you check it out. Okay, next up, I watched this classic movie called Home Alone. Um, really enjoy Home Alone. This is one that I probably visit every single year. I do remember seeing this one in the theater back when it came out. Um, I actually remember the whole theater experience and how fun it was and how surprised I was of how good this movie was and how fun it was. So um, Home Alone, I know that everybody's probably seen this movie, so I can't say check it out if you've never seen it, but definitely um, Home Alone is one of my top favorite Christmas movies. Okay, for the 25th day of Christmas, I watched National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This is one that I try to visit every single year. I do remember seeing this one in the theater back when it came out, and I probably watched it every Christmas since then. So it's always nice to revisit this one. It doesn't get old. Um, you know, it's one that you can just kind of throw on the TV as you're wrapping gifts and doing other things. So if you've never seen Christmas Vacation before, I would highly recommend you check it out. So those are the 25 Christmas films that I watched through the month of December. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular films. Maybe which of these are your favorites. And maybe some of your recommendations of some that I did not watch during this Christmas season. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching and have a Merry Christmas.